Hey guys, Ben here. Breaking news. Tesla and Elon Musk have just invested $1.5 billion into Bitcoin and plans to accept it as payment. So Tesla announced in an SEC filing Monday that it has bought $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin. The company also said it would start accepting Bitcoin as a payment method for its products. Now, CEO Elon Musk has been credited for raising the prices of cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, through his messages on Twitter. Now, I actually want to show you some of these messages because they're pretty crazy. It's crazy, like some people talk about YouTubers pumping stocks. I don't know if anybody's seen Twitter recently. Elon Musk, Shamaf, the way they talk about stocks is just crazy. Like they have no regard for stock prices. They just really love to just pump up random things. So D is for Dogecoin instructional video. He tweeted, he shared a YouTube video on Dogecoin. The people have spoken the future currency of the earth. So, so he did a poll basically Dogecoin to the moon. 71% of people um, agreed with that compared to all other cryptocurrency. Um, here's another quote by Elon Musk, who let the Doge out, talking about Dogecoin again. Um, but interestingly enough, Tesla's bought Bitcoin, not Dogecoin, so I don't know how they're related. But yeah, still, it's crazy the stuff he's been tweeting on Twitter. And then if we go to the Bitcoin price, we can see Bitcoin has rallied massively today. What are we up today? We're up 15% today. I'm surprised it isn't up more and uh, maybe later in the day when the news gets out to more people. So it's currently peaked, I think, to all time highs again. Um, and then there was a slight pullback. So if we if we sort of dive in, it hit around 40 thousand dollars per bitcoin now if we look at the previous bitcoin bubble as it was known back in 2018 when bitcoin reached astronomical levels and everybody called this a crazy hype a crazy bubble and um, bitcoin was around twenty thousand dollars per bitcoin and i actually had some bitcoin back during these times when i didn't really know that much about investing compared to now and actually bought some bitcoin about this point here um, it got to about this point here. I actually sold some of the Bitcoin. I kept some of the Bitcoin as well because I was optimistic about Bitcoin in the past. And then Bitcoin prices plummeted and I actually just had some Bitcoin and I left that in those a cryptocurrency accounts and I left it for a number of years. And then recently I checked those accounts and actually found that I had this Bitcoin still. Not a massive amount of Bitcoin. I've not got millions of dollars in there, but just a few thousand dollars in Bitcoin and uh, Ripple and Ethereum. And then I actually sold out a lot of that um, during these highs here. Um, and I was happy to do that because I've got other investing opportunities, which I think have more long-term potential. But I understand why many people want to be invested into Bitcoin. Um, I actually did a few videos on the top five blockchain stocks. So check that video out in the description. I also did a video comparing the two major investing opinions on Bitcoin, which is basically, basically Warren Buffett thinks Bitcoin is pure speculation and basically said it's like trading turds, whereas Kathy Wood is extremely bullish on Bitcoin and she believes it's the reserve currency of all the other crypto assets. I do agree with her in that sense that Bitcoin does seem to be the reserve currency. It's got the most powerful brand and many people seem to gravitate towards Bitcoin. So really, this has been following on from a succession of companies buying Bitcoins. So as you can see, many, many months ago, back in October, I actually mentioned this on this channel when discussing Square stock. So Square, the financial technology company, put 1% of its total assets worth $50 million into Bitcoin. Now, that was $50 million in October 2020. Now, that'll be worth a hell of a lot more for Square. But then PayPal, as they always seem to copy everything Square does because they're trying to stay cool and they're trying to stay ahead of the times. They also did the exact same thing and they purchased some Bitcoin, I believe, and allowed Bitcoin to be used for purchases on their platform. So this does seem to be a really common trend. Um, Ripple's XRP was November's best performing digital asset. Visa, the payments company, embraces Center's USDC stable coin. Now, a great alternative play on Bitcoin if you don't want to invest into this asset right now due to the major sort of run-up and the risk involved is actually to invest in a company such as NVIDIA. So basically, when there's a gold rush, why not sell shovels? So NVIDIA actually actually creates the graphics cards, which many people use to actually mine Bitcoin. So that's an interesting play. More info on that in my top blockchain stock video. So just a quick news update, guys. If you guys did find any value, feel free to give this video a big 
thumbs up that helps out tremendously with the channel if you're not subscribed feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn that notification bell on for more updates on the latest stock market investing news I also do stock analysis on this channel so comment your thoughts below on cryptocurrency and bitcoin are you bullish on these assets also watch out for the scammers in the comments below because there's many bitcoin scammers cryptocurrency scammers asking people to whatsapp them bitcoin and also there's people on youtube impersonating me and many other people on youtube telling people to send them bitcoin via whatsapp so watch out for that because this great news for bitcoin is really going to excite a lot of scammers so watch out for that guys and i hope you guys have an incredible day invest safe